Hey everybody, welcome to Stumped. This is Ash, and I am playing City Skylines. Oh my god, guys, I am so stoked to be playing this game. I am a massive fan of city building games. I, um, and I'm majorly hyped for this one, you guys. I'm, I'm sure that uh, a bunch of you guys are, have heard of it, especially if you have been a fan of maybe a previous city building game that just came out a couple years ago that didn't really live up to the hype. This one has been marketing itself as a city building game that is what that one should have been. I hope that made sense. Yeah, I'll just say it. It's what SimCity should have been. Um, I've played about three hours of it so far, and it really does meet a lot of my expectations. Um, and we're just going to jump into it. We're going to make this series be something where you guys, I want your guys' input on what I name the city, what I name the districts, what I name the people. You can name everything in this game, you guys. So we're going to have a lot of that user interaction. You guys are going to get at me with some name ideas, and we're going to we're gonna build a city together. So let's do it. We're going to jump into a new game. You guys, um, I, I tweeted out a message asking for names, and we got one great suggestion. Stumpton. It's great. It's, uh, it, it's, it, it really fits this channel, I think. Stumped it. So, we got nine different maps to choose from. Um, a lot of them, as you can see, have different amounts of natural resources for things like oil, ore, farming, and forestry, as well as water. Like, this lagoon one has a crazy amount of water, and I'm not sure why you would ever want a crazy amount of water, to be honest. Maybe just to challenge yourself, I suppose. Um, but, if you really want to get into farming, agriculture type stuff, uh, there, there's obviously different maps that sort of play to that strength. I think we're going to go for just sort of a, a nice, easy, simple one. Everything's sort of balanced, low amount of water, boom. Let's jump in. This is it, you guys. The formation of Stumpton. All right. So the first thing that we always want to do, um, well, I, I guess first let's talk about how big our city is. Boom. This is it. You can see. Boom. This is how big our city is. Some of you might be thinking, hey now, that doesn't look much bigger than uh, than SimCity did. But guess what? As our city gets bigger, we get the option to start upgrading the size of this marquee so we can buy another tile that's this size next to it. And you can upgrade it up to nine times, I believe, so it can become this big rather than this big. Anyway. At the beginning of this game, you have to draw some roads to make some connections before you can build anything else. And for some reason, they make you start off with building this type of road. So we're going to draw one, and then we're going to immediately delete that. Because once you draw that one road, you unlock all the other roads. Let's see, it looks like we have three lane one ways, which I don't think we unlock this early in the game. So we will... I think just make a few one ways here and maybe yeah maybe we'll just bring it down to a one road and we'll have it merge into like one big avenue here and this will be like the main artery of our city bam okay so there we have sort of like the main divider line is how i like to look at it um, at the beginning of making a new city. This sort of will divide our city. We're going to have um, industrial down here. We're going to have residential up here. And we'll have commercial in the middle that'll act as the buffer between the two. Um, let's make sure that works for us. With water, it's always important to have water. Yes, water is flowing downwards. So the pollution that we get from the industrial over here um, will contam contaminate contaminate the uh, the water, um, but that won't matter uh, because our drinking water um, will get pumped in from up here, which will be clean and uncontaminated, um, and the poopy water will get pumped out down here. So that's perfect. That's where we want industrial to be. That works out perfectly. Um, and then let's see, we. The other thing about this game, as you can see, we're already not making money. We're losing money, as a matter of fact. Um, so with this game, you really don't want to build too quickly, too early on in the game, because everything has an upkeep. As you can see, upkeep 0.32 per week per cell. 
that adds up pretty damn quickly. Um, you will lose money very, very quickly in this game. So you really just want to start off with a couple of blocks. I'm going to start off with, I think, two roads worth of residential. And then I'm going to draw one road down here to make industrial somewhat far away. Bam. Okay. Um, and then we will draw out... Uh, what I like about this game is, as you can see, you can paint in the, uh, the districts that you want, or you can literally marquee them in, which is what I prefer to do. Let's see, will that... Boom. Perfect. There's our residential. We're going to make some commercial right there. Bam. And then we're going to make some industrial down here. Bam. Let's hit play and let's speed that up. And wait for people to move in. Boom. Here's our first resident right here. Look at how awesome those animations are as they build that stuff. I love it. So, this is the Dean residence. Oh, snap. They are unhappy, y'all, because they don't have any water or any power. So, next thing to consider is getting that water and power for them. As I said before, you don't want to grow too quickly um, because everything has an upkeep. We're still losing money because we don't have enough residents. Um, so, we're going to go for the wind turbine, which only costs $80 a week, rather than the coal power plant, which we could afford, but it costs $560 a week. Um, we're just going to go for one wind turbine. We're going to plop it... Sure, we're, we're going to plop it right here. Yeah, we're going to plop it right there. Um, as you can see, there's also a noise uh, radius around it where people will be unhappy if it's that close to them. So. For right now, we won't uh, draw anything right there. Um, as for water, we're going to put a small water tower close to them as well. And some of you might be wondering why I'm not going with the water pumping station, which actually has... it costs less money. Um, the, the water tower costs 3500 up front, and it has the same upkeep as the water pumping station, which costs $1,000 less. And you heard me talk about how we're going to pump up water from our clean water up here. Um, so why am I not going for that at first? Because these pipes have an upkeep. And if I was to draw pipes from all the way up here and down, that would increase my upkeep by a crazy amount. So I want to keep my how many pipes I'm drawing to a minimum. Um, for, for just the beginning of the game, until we're making some real money. Uh, but for right now... We're just going to provide some water to these guys to make them happy. Same with these guys. And then we'll draw down here to make these guys happy. Bam. How much did we just increase our upkeep by? It's going up, y'all. So. Ooh, wow, that's going up a lot. Okay, we need some power. As you can see in this view, you can see the what that <laughs> uh, you need to connect these power lines between this area of power. Um, I guess, but uh, this area of power that gets created by whatever is creating the power. If that makes sense, the wind turbine is creating this area of power, and you need to attach it to this other blue circles around the things that need power. So we will draw one up to here, because that needs power. Come on. Yeah, fine. There. Uh, and then... Really? Okay, fine. There. And so that should give power to everything in here, because they're all sort of touching each other. E touching each other's bubbles, if that makes sense. We also need to provide power to this industrial area down here, but I gonna wait on that until more people move in let's hit play and see if that makes people happy mm -mm -mm. 
quadcopters. This is the chirper up here, by the way. It's, it's like Twitter, obviously. The chirper. Quadcopters becoming increasingly efficient for delivery services. Dropping off packages discreetly at your door. Tech online stores. Well, that's good because we don't have any stores here, so obviously people are need to have things delivered. Um, yeah, I mean, what, what are people buying from right now? We've got the neighborhood shop, the quiet corner shop, the general store, and the neighborhood shop. There's two of those, apparently. All right, everyone else is complaining about sewage that's piling up. That's what this symbol signifies. Honestly, that symbol looks like a gun to me for some reason. I guess it's supposed to be a pipe with poop flowing out of it on that end. I don't know why, it looks like like a double-barreled, like, short-nose gun to me. Um, uh, it's just, I, I guess I've been conditioned by violence, y'all. So, to get rid of the sewage, we're finally making money, thank God. Okay, to get rid of the sewage, we need a sewage drain pipe. This is the poop pipe, in all honesty. It's gonna go right there. And we just connect it with a pipe. Bam. Everyone should be happy. Gun symbols go away. Pipe symbols go away. Uh, and now we are making people happy. Stumptonians are really loving it. Should we, should we call them Stumptonians? Uh, maybe Stumpton... Stump, stump, Stumptonites? Stumptonites. <laughs> I like that. Stumptonites is what we're going to call these people from now on. Um... Yeah, quiet corner store. We got some industries. Yeah. Oh, they don't have power. That's right. Okay. So we need to hook up the industries with power. And we can just attach it. You know what? We should min-max this as much as possible. Come on. And that should... I think connect all of them. Yeah! Oh! And you know what? Poop is actually still a problem. Because that needs power too. Is that working? How's our available electricity? Our available electricity is horrible. So, we need to build one more of these, y'all. Oh, we've upgraded to a little hamlet. Or no, 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 we've, we, yeah, we, we've upgraded to a little hamlet. Next one we can get is a worthy village. But by upgrading to a little hamlet, we've gotten access to new taxes, loans, garbage, healthcare, education. Look at all this new stuff we can build. We can totally make people finally uh, just a little bit less stupid with an elementary school. They can learn to finger paint and whatnot. They can stop living in fucking plague squalor by having some doctors. And they can fi finally stop burning their garbage in the backyard with a landfill. Okay, so let's get cracking. We're making a crazy amount of money. All right, so let's get some new people moving into our town. Our Stumpton town. Bam. Okay, come on. There we go. I really like this grid system. I like that it actually shows you um, just how just how wide, how perfectly wide um, the resident buildings can become, um, so that you can really min-max uh, your city blocks. Uh, it, it also gives you that grid system, uh, like every ten cells, I believe it's called. Um, it gives you a little a little marker, so that you can make every block the exact same length. I like that a lot. Uh, let's see here. Residential. Bam. Let's line that up a little bit better. No? Come on. Come on. <laughs> That's horrible. Come on. There we go. I'm not an artist, y'all. There we go. So now if we hit play... We should get more people because people well no 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 Let's, we we need to we need to build something that'll entice people because right now the only thing enticing them is corner shops and neighborhood shops and quiet corner stores but they're happy at least i don't know why they're they, they've, okay they're happy because they have employees um let's make that faster how much power isn't power still a problem power is totally a problem because we never finished building that 
Okay, so I know this is like totally inefficient to build these over here. We're going to eventually move these over here once we start having a little bit better upkeep. But for right now, just as a temporary measure, we're going to put these over here. In fact, pretty soon uh, we'll be able to move those over there and be able to get rid of the water tower and have that pumping station I was talking about. Pretty soon. We're, we're making some good money. Uh, we'll see if we're going to keep making good money after we build the schools and the doctors because that stuff eats up a good chunk. Elementary school. You know what? Let's build a let's build a crossroad here. We're going to be tearing down some houses by doing that, but whatever, you know, yellow. Uh, you, you don't want these people to really start walking all over you. You need to show your dominance a little bit here. Uh, you, you, you need to show them who's boss. The Stumptonites. Bam. Okay. And then we will build the school right in the corner of one of those cross streets. Yeah. Oh, and that whole block doesn't have water because we were really, um, we were stingy on our water is what we were. So, bam, and bam. It bothers me insanely that that's not parallel, but that's our own fault. You know, that's just my own OCD kicking in because of that. Uh, okay, where are we at? What else do we need? We need a doctor's office. We need a doctor's office so that these people can stop dying of bubonic plague or just, you know, stop fucking having diabetes and eating nothing but donuts and whatnot that I'm sure is all these corner stores are providing for you. You've got no fucking organic shops or anything? Get a fucking Whole Foods or something, town. God sakes. Um, are we still make, we're still making crazy money. Okay, I, I think uh, I might go for moving the power stations and getting rid of this, uh, this thing first. Because it's, it's sort of... Um, well, yeah, it, it frees up this area a, a bit more. So, what are what are people saying on Sherper? Pierce Harvey. Uh, healthcare for everyone, citizens flocked. Uh, okay. You know what you can do? You can actually click on these people and find them. So maybe we should, uh, maybe we should find Pierce Harvey. Can I do that? Can I click on this thing and no? I guess you have to click on them on the street. Oscar Brown. The Dean residence. Oh, he was one of the first people to uh, to move in that Dean house. So because he's one of the first people to move in, we're gonna we're gonna make this this dude wild pig. If you guys have been watching our channel very long, you know that uh, Price on our channel goes by the codename Wild Pig. I'll find some more people to uh, to call Jazzy and to call Rick as well. Maybe even I'll name my name myself one of these. I think you actually get to to plop down a mayor's house eventually, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And maybe I'll make myself a mayor, because I'm that kind of an egomaniac. Oh, man. I've yet to be able to make a, an airport, but I can't wait until we do. So, uh, what's next? Let's move. Let's, let's get this looking a little bit nicer. We can move this to where it'll it'll be in this high wind zone, and it'll just be away from, from people. Which is really prime, you know? Um... Can we not click on that one? Ah, uh, this is a bug in the game. Um, yeah, that sucks. Okay. Well, we moved one of them. So, we're just going to have to live with those choices. But that's okay. Uh, that one will just stay there until we ever buy that tile that's next to it. Okay. So, we'll continue our wind farm out here. So, that one will unfortunately just have to stay there for right now. What happens is I built it just a hair too close to the edge of this border, and now I can't select it for some reason. That that happens in this game. It's it's just a, an early early bug. It might even be fixed by the time uh, by the time you can buy it. Do do do. We're gonna build that water pumping station I was talking about. Bam. Because I feel like fresh water would make me happy, at least. If I was a resident, I, I would prefer fresh water to something that comes out of, um, than, than to something that comes out of, uh, a water tower. Bam. And now, if I'm not mistaken, I can just... Do I want to bulldoze it? Can I just, uh, can I just sell it? No, I can't just sell it. So I'll just bulldoze it. Yes. 
I have no idea if if that actually makes residents more happy or not. It's just my own personal thing. Like, I feel like I would want fresh water rather than something out of a, a water tower. Uh, people are complaining that there's no garbage trucks. Let's get some more garbage trucks, y'all. We need people to stop burning garbage in the backyards because that's what Stumptonites do. They, uh, they are just burning their garbage in the backyard because they're savages. They only had medical care like, like a freaking day ago, guys. Okay, give them, give them a break. And, and to to be fair, they also just had an elementary school like a day ago. So really, they don't know much more than finger paint. Um, they don't know any better than to burn their garbage. Uh, okay, and then we can build. Where is the garbage? Just, ah, is that a? I feel like that looks like a man with a hat. You know. But I'm just seeing things weird, apparently. That looks like a man with a hat, though, right? Am I just crazy? It doesn't look like a garbage can to me. Maybe it looks like a, a garbage can in Copenhagen, where Colossal Order is from, I believe. But it doesn't look like a garbage can to me. Oh, man, these people are having power problems. Um, shoot. Okay, we'll take a look at the power problems here in a second. Um, the power problems are probably because we do not have... Yeah, we need even more windmills. And we do not have enough money quite yet for another windmill, but we will soon. Um, and we need to redistrict this to be... To be this. Okay. To be industry, y'all. We are all about the city industry. Kind of. All right, that looks good. So, we need $6,000. Come on. Tick up a little bit faster. We need $6,000 so these people can stop yelling about blackouts on Twitter somehow. Bam. Yes, perfect. All right, so that kicked up our, our electricity to just above the green line. We'll stick with that for a bit because we don't have any more money. Do we need more residential? I think we're okay on our districting for right now. Yeah, there's a lot of... <gasps> yes! Yes, we have upgraded to a worthy village, which allows us to... What does that allow us to do? <gasps> ah, that allows us to make districts. That allows us to have policies, second loans, industry specializations. Um, I'll show this off to you guys in a second. What else can we build? We can build a police station and a firehouse. Firehouse, extremely important. Um, and these new power... Uh, you know, I'll do some of this stuff right now. So... Um, citywide policy, bam, power usage. Power usage, um, what's it do? Energy conservation is important, and the best way to do it is by installing, installing energy meter meters on buildings. Uh, it moderately reduces the energy consumption, which is great, um, but it does cost us five cents a building, so it will eat up a good chunk of this, but we're gonna do it. Citywide power usage is gonna go into effect, and we'll see how big a hit we take on that upkeep there. Um, bam. And then let's take a look at districting, y'all. So, paint a district. We can, uh, we can draw our own districts. Uh, I'll just sort of show it off right here. Bam. That's a district. And it gives it, uh, its own name. So, Underhill Square. Whatever, uh, but we can name it, like, freaking Buttsburg or whatever we want. Um, but then we can assign policies to it. So if we wanted that power usage thing to only go into effect in this drawn area, bam, we can do that. If we wanted this water usage thing to only go into effect in this area, bam. Uh, if we wanted to ban pets in that area, you know, we can do that in the future. Um, we can also eventually work on taxes and city planning and have different areas, like fancy high wealth areas, have a better tax rate than the super poor people living in squalor. Oh, we never connect any power to our pumping station, so people are probably like, what the fuck, why am I not getting any power? Um, or water, I mean. So let's fix that as well. Do, do, do. Where do we want to draw the... You know, for, for right now, we'll do this better. I'll, I'll get this looking more pretty, but for right now, we'll draw power just like that. All right. Does that make you happy? No? Yeah? Why is that not... There we go. Yes. Perfect. Okay. 
Um, what else is our city missing? Did we ever build a doctor? We built a doctor. We built a medical clinic. Perfect. Uh, we need... Yeah, we need some more business. We've got some demand for business. Let's build a little bit more business here. We'll have it on that side of the street. Bam. And I always like to have my um, fire stations and police stations sort of on the main artery of the, of the city as well. So we're going to build a firehouse first. And we're going to have it... We're going to be right there. Perfect. Oh, people don't have water? Jesus, these people are never satisfied, you know? You want to drink water? Jesus. la di da uh, Okay. Is everyone satisfied now? Anyone missing any power? Water? Trash? You, you... Oh, God sakes, you people are missing some water as well. Why is that not working? There we go. Let's connect it like that. Perfect. Everyone should be satisfied. Everyone should be happy. No one should be complaining to me. What are people complaining to me about? Yeah. Oh, no, he was complaining too. They didn't have water. But you do now. You know what? Who's complaining? Who would tweet something like that? Steven Scott would tweet something like that. Steven... Steven, you're in elementary school. How are you even carrying... How are, how are you even using a phone? You shouldn't be using a phone. You should be finger painting it inside there, Steven. Um... And people are without electricity again. Nothing is ever done. Oh my god. Alright. There's plenty more work to do, obviously. We need to get more power for these people because they keep on going underneath the red line. But I think this is a good, solid first place to stop. Um, I think this is a good, solid place to stop for the first episode, y'all. As you can see, this is what our city's going to look like. Uh, we're going to have residential up here. We're going to have some commercial in this area. We're going to have this whole bottom area taken up by industrial. And who knows? Maybe uh, when we get ready to buy a new tile, like we can do pretty soon, we can... Um, let's take a look here. This is a look at our natural resources. If we go down here, if we buy this tile, that would work pretty well for uh, having our industrial so close to the edge of this border. We can move into this area, and as you can see, there's a big spot of oil down here that we could become oil barons if we want to move forward into that in the future. Or, if we bought this tile up here, we could become farmers. As you can see, there's this big green splotches all up here, which is really good for fertile lands, which is what you need for farming. Um, and you do that by districting in here. You can have farming industries, you can have ore industries, and you can have oil industries, which obviously we need to have a bigger population to do that. But I think what I want you guys to do is to let me know in the comments what you'd like, which tile I should, uh, I should move towards in the future. If you'd like me to, uh, to expand more into industry in the future, or if I should expand more into farming in the future, or if maybe uh, you have different, uh, a, a different vision for why I should buy these tiles. Let me know which tile I should move into in the future. And obviously I need an idea for what to name this residential district. This residential district is probably going to be the closest one to downtown Stumpton. Um, so it's going to eventually have a high population, um, high density residential. So it's going to be the big bustling Knob Hill, la -di da type area. So give me a good district name that you'd like to see in this area and I'll name it. Um, and then, yeah, if you guys have any other tips for me, please let me know, because like I said, I've only played about three hours of this game. I need some base and basic understanding about, uh, uh, about I don't know, just, just things that I'm missing, things that I'm not grasping. Uh, so please, hit me up in the comments. And if you're liking this series, please give me a like, give me a favor, be sure to subscribe, let me know if you want to, me to go in a different direction with this, let me know which is what you're thinking of City Skylines for right now. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!